गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स सो आई होप मोस्ट ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव बीन सक्सेसफुल बाय नाउ इन ओपनिंग द एफसीआई अकाउंट एट एसबीआई एंड डीएमबी एंड आल्सो गेटिंग द अप्रूवल बाय द एमएचए डिपार्टमेंट दोज स्टिल वेटिंग फॉर द अप्रूवल नथिंग टू वरी यू टू शैल गेट इट सून सो व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इन ऑर्डर टू मेक योर अकाउंट ऑपरेशनल मेल द अप्रूवल लेटर फ्रॉम योर रजिस्टर्ड ईमेल आईडी to fcra operations. dot double zero six nine one at the rate sbi. dot co. dot in, quoting your fcra account number and a line of request for activating your account. Once the approval is linked in their system too, you will receive a mail that your account has been made operational and you can now receive foreign funds. I would like to remind you again that with the recent direction of the Delhi High Court to SBI and DMB, the accounts need to be made operational within a period of 10 days after the approval of MHA Department. So once everything, everything gets streamlined and you are about to start your normal operations, what will make you worry now is how to utilize the funds being received in SBI and DMB. how to withdraw cash for your petty payments whether all the payments can be done only through sbi and dmb then what's the use of retaining the existing fcra account adds another fcra account today in this video i will handle you through the process of registering for internet banking facility of sbi which will enable you to operate your fcra account smoothly from anywhere in the world you can either use the funds directly by making online payments or transfer the funds to your another fcra account which is permissible because it is meant for keeping and utilizing the foreign funds and then utilize it as you were already doing it in the past so let us see in the mail received from sbi and dmb you will find a link of yonobusiness.sbi for registration of internet banking once you click on the link you will be asked to log in or register after clicking on register you will find the option of new registration in the next screen on clicking the tab new registration you will be asked to choose between single user registration and multiple user registration in our view you should always take single user registration for better administration purposes and to avoid misuse once you proceed after the necessary selection you need to provide your account number of sbi which will then be validated by sending a one time password to your already registered mobile number that you must have filled in the account opening form of sbi and dmb After the validation is done the name and pan of the organization is required to be filled after and after providing the mandatory captcha that appears you can proceed to the next page here you need to select between the two options whether you want to use internet banking only for enquiry that is viewing the statement or checking the balance or you need it for both enquiry and transactions that is making payment to third parties making transfer to your utilization accounts and many more in our view obviously the second option that is enquiry and transaction should be availed next you need to fill the details of the user whom the organization wants to authorize for using the internet banking facility you need to fill the name pan mobile number email id and complete address of such user although the organization can authorize anyone to be the user i repeat although the organization can authorize anyone to be the user in our view the user should of course be from one among the authorized signatories or office bearers on filling up the requisite details of the user you can now submit the your application by checking the terms and conditions box and then click on submit an email id shall be asked where you want to send the copy of this document which can be the organization's registered email id so what's the next step after you submit the form 
take out the printout of the application and manually fill section 4 of the form where you need to provide the name designation of the authorized signatories along with their signatures now as per the instructions mentioned in the mail you need to dispatch the hard copy of the following documents the application form with the signatures on all pages of all the authorized signatories copy of board resolution in the format shared by the bank on the letterhead of the organization with the signature of all the authorized signatories we have attached the copy of the board resolution in the description the KYC documents of only the user and that too only if he or she is different from the authorized signatories the documents need to be dispatched on the address displayed on the screen once your net banking is activated you shall receive a mail of confirmation and message with the temporary user ID you then need to navigate through the following path again visit yonobusiness.sbi this time don't click on register click on login and then new user activation now select yono business and single user and then click on submit once you submit you will be directed to provide the user's name account number and after giving the mandatory captcha that appears click on go there it seems you will be able to set your password and then you are good to go for operating the internet banking for your FCRA account. I hope you shall now be able to register for internet banking with ease and operate smoothly. For any queries you can contact us or comment below. Thank you.